Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Recently I did a blog post on how to record a macro and someone asked a question, how can I share a macro or the steps of a macro with someone else or do they have to go through and record their own and do the same steps? So I'm going to show you today how you can share the code for a macro with someone else so they don't have to go through that process. So here's how we can do that in Excel. If you want to learn how to record a macro, I strongly recommend watching that previous tutorial I had done. And I'll put a link to that below so you can watch that and learn. But if you already know how to record a macro and you have someone else who wants those steps and doesn't want to have to go through all those individual steps to record their own, I'm going to walk through the steps of how you can share your macro with someone else. One thing that you might want to do up front to make it a little easier in this process is to make sure you have the developer tab on your ribbon. And if you don't have the developer tab, all you need to do is go to file, go down to options, and under customize the ribbon, just make sure this developer box is checked here. If you do that, then you'll have the developer tab. And if we go to the developer tab and click on macros, here's three different macros that I currently have stored in my personal macro workbook. And one of them is a macro to uh, format the headers like I want to format them. So for example, I'm going to just put um, hello and put them in a bunch of cells. And if I wanted to format these like that macro will run it, all I would need to do is go to the developer tab, macro, choose that format macro that I have, hit run, and it will format those just like I want it. So someone else might see that and want that same VBA code for themselves. So I'm going to walk through how one way that you can share that with someone else. So now I can access that macro, uh, open up Visual Basic here, and if you notice, the keyboard shortcut to do that is Alt F11, or I can just click on this icon here and it will open it up. And here there's a module in my file, in my personal workbook, there's a module called Header Format. And that is this macro right here. MAR format macro. And these are the steps that it goes through to run that macro like I want my headers formatted. So what I can do is just do a control A to select it all and then a control C to copy it. Then I can just open up say a notepad or something like that, paste it in there, save it. I'm not going to save this now but you can save it and share that code with someone else. When they receive that code, so let's say I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to go ahead and close this, don't save, and I'm just going to open up a brand new workbook. And I'm going to open up a blank workbook, go to my developer tab, Visual Basic. So now I'm in this new workbook that I just opened up. Notice there's no modules in there if this is the first time that they've ever done a macro and they, so they may not have any modules so what they would want to do is insert a module in this new workbook so now here's their workbook book one I haven't saved it as a name yet so it's just called book one and there's a module so now all I need to do is go to here control A control C to copy it and then go ahead and control V and paste that in to this module that I just created. And if they want to name it so it doesn't just say module one, because if they have a bunch of modules, it's just going to number them module one, module two, module three. In the properties window down below, you can highlight the name and maybe change this to header format. Hit enter, and now notice the name of that module is called header format. And now that person has a macro in their workbook. Again, if they don't have a personal workbook, then they would have to create one. And to create a personal workbook, all you need to do is 
go through the steps of recording a macro. It doesn't even have to be a legitimate one. Just start the recording and end the recording and save it to your personal workbook. Again, if I went through the process of starting a macro here and my choices are personal workbook, a new workbook, or this workbook. If you chose personal workbook, said OK, and then immediately stopped it, it will now create a personal macro workbook for you. And then you can save macros that you want to use in any workbook in your personal workbook. One thing to note when you go to save your file that has a macro in it, I'm going to hit the save button here and I'm going to choose more options and let's see I want to put it on my desktop. Notice that if you just have your default being an XLSX workbook and you go to save it, you're going to get a warning telling you that you can't save a file that contains a macro as a regular XLSX file. So I'm going to say no and what you need to do is choose an Excel macro enabled workbook then you can save it and Excel will then save a file that contains a macro. And that's how you can do this in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bice.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.